Hey everyone, welcome to episode 53 of Let's Platinum and 100% Bloodborne. Alright, so this is technically attempt number two. Let's try this. Alright, so to avoid this, don't do what I did. <laughs> uh, Alright, let me quickly grab my body. Even though there's no real reason to grab it for now, but yeah. Uh, Alright, so let's put some damage into him. That's good. Slightly better start so far. Alright, let's... Lightening it up. Oh god, damaging. Oh, that's a new one. He doesn't hit me again. Oh crap, no. Avoid this altogether. Whoa, what the hell happened there? That was weird. I got like flung across the room. Dodge. One, two, three, four, five. He has like, I don't know, he has weird sections that like seem to be a lot more damaging. When you see that sort of brown um, gas around his mouth, that's when he's going to charge, by the way. That's just another thing to add. Oh my god, stop. Dodge that. Dodge the second one. Oh, yep. He charged. I like to kind of try and stay far away from him too. Like, not too far, but I like to kind of stay far sometimes because then he, get, he does that attack where he, like, launches that weird lightning. And, um, oh, it's not really lightning, but whatever it is. I like that attack because that gives me an opportunity to get a lot of hits in. Like this, for example. Look how many hits in I got there. That was crazy. And now, ooh, that was a lucky dodge. Alright, we're getting closer. Come on, Henriette, stay alive. It is possible to have... Okay, let's watch the cutscene. Oh, too loud, too loud, too loud. There we go, that should be alright. Now you get to see the hard bit. <laughs> well, it, I feel like this next bit is just as um, difficult as the first bit, but uh, yeah. You were at my side all along. Okay, you ready? Go. Right, I lowered the sound a little bit more again. Prepare for Ludwig, the Holy Sword? I can't remember what he's called. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Where's his name? Oh, there. The Holy Blade. Okay. Attacks. Avoid that altogether. Stay away. Next one. Okay, so he went for Henriette there. You want to try and stay behind him, but the issue is... Oh, come on, man. Why you kill her straight away? Doesn't even give her a chance. Alright. When he does that, roll there and there. You just have to time your rolls perfectly. If you can do that, you'll be good. Roll, 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 and then attack. Roll, roll. Always roll towards him. I feel like that's better. Roll again. That time roll away from him because he's in the corner. Oh, don't. Okay, good. Chase after him a little bit. Hit him once and then run away. Get a sneaky hit in there. Dodge that. Some of his attacks are easy to dodge, some are much harder. Let's see. One. Two. Ooh, crap. That was bad. Ah. Oh, Alright. Um, okay. I'm going to leave that attempt in the episode. Um, just simply because uh, that showed off like a really decent... Um, set of his skills and, and stuff like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'll cut to when I actually beat him, which will take a very long time most likely, but I'll at least um, be able to get this fight out of the way. This fight is really hard. Um, you're going to be discouraged through it a lot. If you get lucky and you win, congrats, it's it's not easy. Um, but yeah, this, this fight is going to take me a while, so I'm going to keep attempting it and hopefully I'll succeed. Um, so, be right back. Okay, we're back, and I'm pretty sure this is attempt number nine. I got, uh, my previous attempt was my closest yet. Um, don't miss that. Uh, the key, what I'm noticing, the key to this fight is the first phase isn't too hard to get past. Like, I've pretty much gotten past the first phase every time. But the second phase is very hard to defeat, and not only that, but it's, it's hard to have Henriette at a decent amount of health for the second phase. So if you can if you can pull off the fact that like she 
having her alive during the second phase, you've got a much better chance um, to win. Because... Oh no, that's bad. Wow, how the hell did I not take damage there? Dodge. Oh, good. One, two... Roll. Oh, that didn't want to do that, but okay. Come on, Henriette, where are you? Hit him. That's the way. Break his limbs. That's dangerous. Roll. Ah, oh, that one got me. That's annoying. If he charges at me again and I get hit by it, I'm screwed. But we're doing alright. Wow, how the hell did I avoid that? Oh good, I like that attack. I don't like attacking from that side when he's doing that, but whatever. Come on, Henry, just stay alive for a little bit. Yes! Alright, good, good. Alright, we have a chance, we have a chance. The problem is he goes for her so much. Alright, I'm gonna bank it all on this bolt paper, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roll, roll. Just keep hitting him. If you have Henriette, try and just keep hitting him as much as possible. Roll. Oh, well done, Henriette. <gasps> uh, no, that was a bloody... Oh, good job, good job. Henriette got the visceral attack on him. He's still not dead, but... That's better. Okay, this attack sucks. Run. Run to one side, and then leap. Okay, he went for Henriette there, but I, I did the right thing by running to one side. Oh no, don't kill me now. Oh, good, good. Perfect attack for him to do there, because it gives me time to get away. Damn it, Henriette, you are an idiot. Alright, roll. One, two, roll. Uh, I can't see. Roll. 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 <laughs> okay, and he even had the last one. I can't see, this is bad. Roll. 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 Heal. Roll. Oh. There. There. A heal. Roll. 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 Come on. Yes, that's good. Okay, he's going to do this again. I'm actually going to use the old hunter bone here to try and um, speed things up a bit. One, two, this is bad. Okay, here we go again. Run, jump. Very hard to dodge that one, but if you can. One, two, one, two. Using the old hunter mode bone makes it a little bit easier to dodge. Not too much, but a little bit. One, Two, three, heal. Use the old hunter bone. One, dodge. This is a pretty good opportunity here. Oh, this is it. This is it, and... Okay, I don't have the visceral. There we go. Yes! I won. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, yes, I did it. Alright, nine attempts. That's pretty good. It took me about 30 attempts my very first time, so... That proves, in a way, that that actually does work. There you go, Ludwig the Holy Blade and the Guidance Rune. Um, okay, so I'm going to stop recording and take a break um, in a sec, but I want to quickly do a few things. Alright, so light the lamp. Um, let's talk to his head. Tell me, good hunter of the church, have you seen the light? Are my church hunters the honourable Spartans? I hoped they would be. Okay, now, if you are wearing a piece of church gear, or at least so I'm told, uh, he, and you say yes... Ah, good. That is a relief. To know I did not suffer such denigration for nothing. Thank you kindly. Now, I may sleep in peace. Let's have a look. Even in this yep. darkest of nights... And we get the Holy Moonlight Sword, which is an 
awesome, awesome sword. Um, we can't talk to him anymore, he's pretty much dead. I... Oh, I never did that to him. Or did I? Hmm, I don't remember killing him. He technically didn't even die there because he had a little bit of health left. Um, okay, so as far as I know, I think all you have to do is wear a piece of church gear. Church gear, I think, is like, for example, the black church garb, white church garb, basically probably anything with church in it. Choir would probably work too. Um, what else? I don't know. I just know that um, wearing the black church robe works. I don't know if that's the garb? Robe? Garb. I don't know if that's the actual requirement, but uh, I know that that works and you get the sword there. This is just three blood vials, and before I go, I will show you... I mean, we're still going to continue the episode, but I'm just going to take a break. Um, let's show you this thing. Now, this thing is really cool. This is like the uh, Black Knight... I think it was Black Knight Sword, right? There's Black Knight Sword and Black Knight Great Sword in Dark Souls 2. Um, this is like it, so it has the same sort of attack patterns, as you can see. Um, R2 is the stab, which I can't remember if it had the stab in, in Dark Souls 2. Uh, you can't L2, but you can do this. Yeah, and it becomes the Holy Moonlight Sword. And the coolest thing about the Holy Moonlight Sword... Hi-ya! <laughs> Hi-ya! And... Silver, yeah. <laughs> it's it's so cool. It, this this weapon is really cool. I never use it. Uh, I never do use it. I'm sure it has its uses, but um, it is it's an amazingly cool weapon. Really, really cool. Oh, I, I didn't even try these ones, so we do that. It's just a normal poke. That one. What about L2? Charge. There, that's a really good one. Nice straight shot. And that's a quick like swipe from left to right, from right to left, sorry. But yeah, that, I, I do like that weapon, it's really good. But um, yeah, okay, so to reiterate just before I go, um, the reason I use the Saw Cleaver is because it has, um, it says this saw effective at drawing the blood of beasts, transforms into a long cleaver that makes it use of cent centrifugal force. Um, or is it centrifugal I never know if it's like centripetal, centrifugal, what's written there, I don't know how to pronounce that one. But essentially, it, it's really effective against beasts. Um, and it, that's why, like, the Ludwig was, like, getting torn down every single time. Um, if you're not, if you're being unable to, to succeed at winning against this guy, first of all, don't worry, because he is extremely difficult. Um probably grab a friend, uh, definitely, in my opinion, use um, Henriette, and the reason I say that is because Henriette, or like when you have an NPC in, in the fight, the boss gets more health, but in my opinion, Henriette's usefulness outweighs the amount of health, that extra health that he gets. Um, yes, it took me nine times, and yes, I kind of got lucky, but um, it is still possible to do. This is a very hard boss fight, as far as I know, there's no way to like cheese him, there's no way to kind of just like get through it without um, having to work for it, or you can also use, um, what is it, people that you know, um, if, I, I don't remember how the password system works, but if you guys need help, just post in the comments, I'll, I'll do what I can to, to help you guys, um, I think it's just a very simple, like, password system, you guys create, like, a game, and then I join, so, yeah, if, uh, I'm offering that for you guys if you want help with this one. Um, but yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the Hunter's Dream. I'm going to um, get all my like blood vials and quicksilver bullets back, and then I'll be right back here, and we can continue through that door above my hat. So I'll bear back. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I am actually still in the, uh, the boss room, and the reason is because Simon's here. I... this did not happen to me in my original playthrough, so let's find out what he has to say. Interesting. Anything else? Within 
D naught. All right, so it looks like, yeah, okay, that's all he says. Okay, so that's probably just like a little extra bit. Let me just lower the sound again. It's probably just like a little extra um, dialogue that you can get from him. I didn't know that that was there um, when I played this. I pretty much, how did I do this? I think I like attempted the boss several times and then I went to sleep and I woke up and I got him and then I just kept playing the game. So I think that's what happened. So I never got a chance to see him that time. Um, Alright, so let's do our normal stuff. Uh, we we won't really need the Saw Cleaver anymore. Um, it is still a really good weapon, but uh, from memory... Uh, we might need it again, but not for the time being. Uh, let's put... Let's put the um, Blade of Mercy on. There was an enemy I used to fight. I used the Blade of Mercy to fight, but um, I don't remember what it was. Uh, Alright, so let's go to the underground corpse pile, which is where the boss is located. Um, I've lowered the sound even more because I've still felt that it was a bit too loud, it was drowning me out. Not not drowning me out, but it was harder to make out what I was saying. Um, yeah, so I've lowered it a bit more. Uh, okay, so a few more things to reiterate. Um, that boss is still really, really, really tricky. I think I said it just earlier. Um, 30 minute, uh, 30 attempts or so it took me, and then this time it took me 9, so the method that I use does work, it's just still really, really, really tough to do. Um, so don't give up, keep keep, pursue, uh, keep pushing. Alright, so the person saying that is this person in here who keeps hitting his head against the wall. Um, we can't actually get in there at the moment, but uh, yeah, he's just going to keep saying the same thing. But we will get in there eventually. There is a little bit of fighting here, so we want to be careful. Get Frenzied Cold Blood 9. I don't think there's anything there. Another door we can't open yet. Alright, here's our good old friend Mr. Phantom. Can I please have... there we go. Uh, yeah, you, whoa, you also have to be careful of that guy in the back. Let's see if I can do this. You can cheese, um, a few of the enemies by doing this. Oops. Just get that door frame right. Ah, oh, come on. Nice, good dodge. It's going to take him a while to get, get it back. Dodge this next one. And dodge. There we go. He's not too hard. Oh good, there was an example of the uh, the roll, yeah, and again, <laughs> the roll into the um, the overhead swing. That's really good. Okay, let's uh, let's go down here now. I'm gonna. There's an NPC down here, and I've forgotten his name. Brador. I think his name is Brador. He doesn't. He, these NPCs don't really say their names. I, I I don't know how like the wikis and all that figure it out, but yeah. Um, I lied to him the first time. This time I'm gonna see. Uh, tell him the truth. And uh, I'll see if there's any difference. Alright, here we go. So I said I hear the bell, I'm going to say I hear nothing. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. It's the same thing. All right. I don't think there's any like reason to tell him the truth or lie to him, or whatever. I don't, I don't think that has any effect. Uh, like effect that you know, well, from for later on or whatever. Um, but if you tell him I hear the bell, he'll just say like you're lying, because apparently he can hear what we hear, or he knows what we can hear. <laughs> Um, okay. Interestingly, there is a, um, there's a hunter in here, and you could attack him through the wall, but I'm not going to, because he might get, like, stuck, and, you know, issues might happen. The hell? I don't remember this room being completely empty. Any secrets that I don't know about? Hmm. Strange. Oh, well. And in here, there is... 
Also nothing. I don't remember that many rooms being empty. Here there's an item. Fist of Gratia. Uh, so this is another um, old hunter weapon, which is really good. Uh, actually, I never tried the Fist of Gratia. It is supposed to be a... Um, like a, a gun, I guess. Uh, hang on. This one. So how does it work? Oh, that's pretty cool. But it doesn't really... Oh, I was like, what's that sound? But I, I know what that is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it just does like a little punch or something. I'm not really sure how that's supposed to help, but whatever. Um, Alright, so let's go up here. Now this bit. This bit is a little tricky, and I really hope I don't die. I actually didn't die the first time, but I really hope I don't die. There are a few rats here. These aren't the tricky guys. Crap. Oh, man. Do not get hit by these rats. I'm pretty sure they, like, poison you and stuff, so... You want to be very careful. I don't know, I feel like they're... Because they're so easy to dodge, I feel like getting hit by them will cause something major to happen. So, hang on a sec. There we go. Alright. Uh, bloodstone chunk over here. And there are two NPCs that we're going to fight here. Two hunters. Um, the way the game <laughs> sets this up is... You can see the hunter just straight ahead of me. Again, above my hat. Um, and there's one actually hidden over here to the right. I'm going to try and get the one to the right. Great one's wisdom. I'm going to try and get the one to the right. And let's see, do I want to use the old hunter bone? I'm going to use... Yeah, I'm going to use the old hunter bone and see if I can... Where is he, though? I don't know if I can fight him one at a time, but I'm going to try. There he is. He's so sneakily hidden. Did I get him? I got him, but I don't know if I got him alone. Oh, hang on. No, I didn't get him alone. Again, come on. I got you this time. Nope. Oh, he's dangerous. Okay, let's try old hunter bone. Yeah! Oh crap. Also, you got to be careful of, yep, that. <laughs> Yes! That's what I wanted. Oh, come on! There we go. Okay, that doesn't really do that much damage, so I'm going to go back to my usual. Take that. Okay, doing pretty well here. Oh. He's got... I think he's got Lud Ludwig's Holy Blade... I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and now the the other one, I kind of want to keep them off my back for the time being. Hang on. Oh. Yeah, just like use this um, tomb as a a little blockade for her spells. Doing pretty well here. Oh no! Please don't kill me. No! Oh, damn it! I was so close. I was trying to dodge out of the way and it didn't work. Um, Alright, I'll, uh, like usual, I'll go back to this part and fight them again, so I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys, we're back. Um, attempt number two on these guys. Uh, I don't know if I should use the... Yeah, I guess I'll stick with this. I wonder if I can... I know that he's behind there. That's probably two... Oh, he hasn't seen me yet. Oh, he still hasn't seen me. That's interesting. Come on. There we go. May as well get a few attacks in on, in on him first. Come here. Yeah, I only got one hit on that, but it's fine. Again, like, use the bed. The bed says, um... You know, cover or the uh, the tomb, preferably the tomb. Come on, yeah. I hate that he dodges that. Let's see if I can get back here. All right, this is pretty good. Oh no, it's not. Ah, oh, no, not again. 
Ho oh, ho, that was lucky. Come here, come here. That's the way. That's the way. Alright, so that's pretty good. That's a good technique to use. If you can get him with the um, with the charged attack, you can probably get him with the second one. There you go. That's how you do it. And now for the finish. Done. Alright, you're dead. Okay, so that's a pretty good way to fight him. And now this one. Now, as far as I can tell, she doesn't run out of MP or whatever, stamina. I can't remember how that actually works. I think it's stamina or something. So just like do a few hits to her. Get away, make sure you're dodging. Probably best not to use the visceral, like uh, the counters and stuff like that against her, just simply because she doesn't really attack that much with her weapon. She's more of a caster. And I feel like that's probably harder to... Oh! That's gonna hurt. Oh! Oh, I went through the bed. Okay, she's pretty much dead now. Goodbye. Alright, cool. So they're not... I shouldn't have died, but they're not that hard. And even if you do die, it's like a minute to get back. Wow, 10 Quicksilver bullets. Oh, that's what you use, yeah. <laughs> Quicksilver bullets. She doesn't run out of those, so yeah. Um, okay, very interesting area. Um, this area is actually designed off the area where the, the garden is, if you remember the, what's it called? Celestial Emissary? I don't know if it was that one. Yeah, so yeah, that is. Celestial Emissary on the other side of that uh, glass. But this area is very unique. Um, I think, yeah, I think there's a cutscene here, so I'm going to quickly increase the volume. It's not very important, but still pretty cool. Okay, so this cutscene leads us to probably the worst area in the game, just in terms of like navigation. It's very, very tricky, but I'll I'll figure it out as as I go along, um, and I'll try and make it as like non-confusing as possible. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head back. So step on the uh, elevator again and go straight down, and I'll explain why in just a sec. I actually figured this this one out on my own. I uh. I was like, you know what, elevators are always fun, but let me just see something, let me just make 100% sure. Step on the elevator again, step off, let it go up, and lo and behold, what's this? Another elevator! Now, very interesting, I am actually going to spoil things a little bit here, and I'll explain as soon as this is over. If you walk onto here, you can get Lawrence's skull, and then walk on and off again, uh, sorry, no. Pull the the elevator switch, roll onto the thing, and go down. Now, Lawrence's skull, let's quickly read that. Lawrence's skull. The skull of Lawrence, the first vicar of the healing church. Skull of Lawrence, the first vicar of the healing church. In reality, he became the first cleric beast, and his human skull only exists within a nightmare. The skull is a symbol of Lawrence's past and what he failed to protect. He is destined to seek his skull, but even if he found it, it could never restore his memories. All right. So I'm going to explain that in just a sec, but if you open this chest down here, we get access to the church cannon, the one that the uh, the big tentacloger was using. Let's have a look at that, because I don't think I ever actually looked at this one. Uh, oh, I can't equip it. It requires 16 blood tinge. Okay, so it, yeah, it's... Um, I cannot equip it. It's It could be useful. I mean, I, I don't really know how it works, but it could be very useful. Uh, but yeah, there's a little bit of a secret for you. Uh, and now if you just hop straight back on, you can go back up. There are no other secrets like down there that you can't like sort of hop on, get off, and then there's something else down there that's just literally nothingness. <laughs> um, I checked and double checked. Um, so the, the Lawrence's skull. Now this is very, very, very interesting. Um, 
Lawrence's skull, and uh, it's going to be a little bit of a spoiler here, but Lawrence's skull, as I said, it's the, the skull of the first vicar uh, of the Healing Church, otherwise known as the Cleric Beast. So the very first optional boss, I guess, technically in the game. But if you remember, when we got the eye pendant, which is what we just put in here... Oh, hang on a sec. Let me just look at this. There's a bell, there's a book. And this guy's kind of like a... I don't know, important figure or something. Um, when we got when we first got the eye pendant, it was from a large cleric beast, if you remember. It was in his hand. If you were to go back to um, that area right now with the Lawrence skull, you could actually activate the boss there. And trust me, you do not want to do that. <laughs> we are going to leave that boss well for last because he is diabolically hard. Really, really, really tough. And we still have like a lot of preparations to do anyway before we um before we fight him. Um, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to go up there and I'm going to try and get as much of this next room done. I believe this area is called the Research Hall. Um, it is, <laughs> it's quite long, but um, I believe I know how to, how to do it. So um, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching episode, I believe this is 53 of Let's Platinum and 100% Bloodborne. My name is Ultima456 and I'll see you next time.